my lovely Capricorns. So, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you the energy. I see you crushing on someone so hard and whoever this person is, it looks like you can have a romantic encounter with them, but you don't know how this person feels, huh? Because that's what it looks like. It's like, you may feel as if this person is emotionally unavailable, like you like them, but they don't really express verbally how they feel about you. Um, I'm not going to lie, Capricorn, the energy, it seems like it can be friends with benefits, a situation ship. It doesn't look like a relationship for this reading. So that's good that this is in the beginning. So you will know whether this reading is for you or not. This gives me situationship energy where you could have been, you could have started off as friends with this person. You could have, they could have been exactly what you needed at the moment. And now you can be um, catching feelings for this person and you're confused as to where the direction of the relationship is going. But let me tell you, this person opens up your heart. They really, really do. They open up your heart. They make you feel excited about love again um some of you too if you if you have a parent or a grandparent I see you spending more time with your parents or what's your grandparent and if it's not like you physically visiting them it could it could also be you like spending more time on the phone with them checking on them seeing how they're doing seeing how their their health is I just see you in contact with like a, a parent a grandparent um and checking on them and they love to hear from you, by the way, too, Capricorn, because it looks like at times you could get busy. So you don't always have time to keep up with with everybody. But when they hear from you, they are excited. Um, but back to this person. Back to this. Per Some of you, too, you can also be in an area where you have to slow your child down. You can have a child that. They want everything. <laughs> That's what it looks like. They want so much. Um, it is back to school time. So you could have bought them a lot of things for back to school. And they could be wanting more and more and more. Like that dopamine. It feels good to have new things. It feels good to pop a tag or, or two or a few. And it looks like this child wants more and more and more. And you're going to have to put boundaries on them. Um as far as, as far as how much you you buy or how much you spend right now um let me see let me see what else is coming out for you some of you could be ordering new glasses new contacts let's see another thing too so many people feel like it is a blessing to have you a part of their life you know it could be like a friend reminiscing about you and how you were there for them when they were going through a dark time it could even be like um a co-worker you can have a co-worker at work that behind the scenes nobody knows that they're actually going through so much and you can be their strength on the job you encourage them when they when they they can't wait to get through the door of work because they know that you will be there with your beautiful spirit and you always make them feel better. So they're going to, this person is going to be really happy to have you around. And can I tell you something, Capricorn, whoever this person is, that's like feeding off of your energy and they're going through a dark time and they just need your support. You're going to pull them out of the darkness. Did you know that? Like being, being connected to you and having you like empower them and you know, you know what it feels like because you could have been through something similar. So this is the reason why you're you're helping even to the magnitude that you are. It's like, damn, I know what it feels like. I didn't have anybody there for me, so I want to be there for them. This is how you feel. Do you know, like, and this can end up becoming your bestest friend too, because I see them sticking to you. But and it, or it could be a best friend, right? <laughs> it, it can actually be a best friend or s someone that will turn into a best friend because of how much you help them and how much they value you and and them understanding now what what a real friend is because of 
because of how much you've helped them. Now they're like, oh, this is what a real true friend is. I value this. I like this. I needed this. <laughs> and then wanting to spend more time with you. I see you two like having deeper conversations as time goes by. This is why I feel like it's gonna, it can be like a new, a new bestie, somebody that will appreciate all that you've done and, and eventually give back to you in the same, in the same way. But, um, some of you will be listening to a lot of music. I just see headphones on. Do you listen to podcasting? Do you have audibles on like a, a nice book that you're listening to? I just see you with headphones in your ear and whatever, whatever you're listening to, it, it has your interest. All right. Why does this keep, this came out for everybody. This says shine from within. Um, this also shows fairy spotting. It's a time to go fairy spot spotting. It said that seeing is believing. So the way that I see this card, this card, <laughs> I wanted to say this card is annoying, but it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not annoying, but I just feel like for you, you're going to be in a season where your where your faith is going to be tested. There's going to be a lot of things that you are waiting on. And for you, you can be a visual. I will believe it when I see it. However, spirit is calling on you to find your strength from within. Your strength from within is that even though I cannot see it, I still have the expectation that it will come to me somehow, some way. This is a message, Capricorn, not to lose hope. Don't lose hope. Do not forget about the bigger picture that is in your head that you really want. So what does this look like? Deep down inside, if you have a vision that, damn, I really, really want to be married one day. Do not lose the vision of the fact that you will be married one day, even if it's not happening right this second. You know, I really want, I really want to buy property just because you don't have it right now it doesn't mean that you will never have it spirit wants you to keep your eyes on the prize they want you to believe in the things that you cannot see because that is the definition of faith they want you to pull your inner strength and stay confident even when you're in a place of uncertainty and you don't know what is going to happen because that's what it looks like you're going through a journey you're going through a, a, a tunnel now I see a vision of like a tunnel and you're, you're already in it. You're already in this tunnel. You're, you're driving down and it's dark. It's real dark and you don't know what's going to be on that other side. But however, a tunnel don't last forever, right? Eventually you have to get on the other side and then, and then the light shines and that's how spirit wants you to view any moments of uncertainty that may create darkness for you. They don't want you to forget that you're driving through a tunnel, the darkness don't last long and whatever you're going through, it won't last long either. So your, your faith is being tested a lot. There could be three different things that you are waiting on. Some of you um, and, and ask for help. If you know that there's things that you need answers to or you need more information about, some of you are even researching a new profession. There's a career. There's a career shift that you would like to make, but you don't have enough information and spirit wants you to ask people. Some of you, are you shy? Are you shy of asking for help? Because in this season, asking for help will get you so much more further than you think. There's people around you or even in your company, ask them. Or or if there's a profession that you want to go after, ask a person who's already in that profession. I feel like who, whoever is around you will, will love to help you too. You help people, so you deserve help too. You know that, right? Each one, teach one. <laughs> Each one, teach one. So if you are completely single Capricorn, I see you meeting new people. Do I see that the connection's going anywhere right now? No, I don't really see it going anywhere. See, this is what spirit wants you to do. They want you to hold on to hope. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Hope is always there, even if you can't see it. All right. 
optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. So you can be in a situation that you don't know how you're going to see the light of day and spirit is like, hold on to hope. Like whatever you want, you're going to get. The only thing that, that we ever have to hold on to is timing. We don't know the divine timing of our life. Anything that you put your intentions towards or you're working towards, you're going to get there. However, what happens is during that journey of uncertainty, people get discouraged and they jump. They jump shit right before the breakthrough. Don't be one of them people who you, you pull out too quick. Pause. You understand what I'm trying to say? <laughs> But um, you you pull out too quick and, and your breakthrough is right there. So that's that's what this is all about. Learning how to encourage yourself during those times of uncertainty. And everything happens for a reason. If, it, if it's not now, then that means you could be in a season of preparation. Preparation seasons can take a while. Let me see what else comes out for you. Yeah. Pure intentions and healing. You have you have healing connections that are coming. You have people that their intentions are more pure. However, I just don't know if the connections go anywhere, right? Because sometimes you can have somebody in your life for a season and a reason. And let's see. Yeah, it's whoever's coming, whoever's coming in your life. They're coming in your life to help give you hope. That's that's what it's all about. Some of you are going shopping a lot. Like it could be grocery shopping. Some of you have a lot of flights of stairs that you have to walk up with. The, I just see grocery bags and somebody walking up the stairs with like a lot of bags and them being like tired. You can notice that your energy gets depleted really, really fast. You could have been fighting for so long in your life that you just get depleted fast. You need more strength. Um... Some of you too can have like a vitamin deficiency and this is the reason why your energy is like, it's hard for you to like things that you would normally get through so fast, so easily, so effortlessly, it may be a little bit challenging and it could be because you're using a lot of mental, mental space. When you're in your head using your mental a lot, it drains you. Some of you are crying too. Like, I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure which way to go damn well you need a personal reading <laughs> that's what readers can do they can help you see through all that fog all that mental fog and and help but um who's coming towards you some of you if you have a sister who's pregnant you're gonna hear that a sister or family member's water broke somebody about to have a baby Okay, so what is this? Oh. Some of you, somebody was investing in a connection with you and then all of a sudden they pulled out. You think that they're secretly playing mind games with you. And the truth is this person is just trying to fo focus on their happiness. They're trying to find themselves again. They're not playing mind games with you. This person just needs to find themselves right now. That's what they're going through. So some of you can even watch this person on social media. Like, like what's up with this person? You know, you may see like, oh, so... You can post and but you can't you can't pick up your phone, <laughs> you know, like you could post, but you can't call me. Oh, I see you having a time of your life. You may feel like this person is is just playing games with you. But the truth is they are focused on their happiness. The sun is somebody who is trying to see what works out best for them. So you could have attracted in someone who you felt like their intentions were impure and spirit is saying like, no, this person's intentions are pure. They're probably just not in a place of commitment. They're not, they're not committal. They could just be all for themselves. Like what makes me happy? What will work best now? So even like a person who could be weighing their options, that's what it looks like. Some of you, this could be a Pisces. It shows the highest priest card, or it could be somebody who's going through their own spiritual awakening and they're trying to find themselves. You know, it could be somebody who just moved into your neighborhood or they just been living there for a few years. They could have came with a lot of pain and they're just trying to 
get better. They want to get better. Like this is somebody who's on their own healing journey. That's what it looks like. Um, you just want you just want love. You really do. You just want somebody who is mentally stable, emotionally stable. You want someone who is financially stable and has things going on for themselves. And you don't know if you should wait for this person to come back or around or if you should just manifest somebody new. You go back and forth with yourself. One minute you're okay and ah, who cares? Blah, blah, blah. I don't need them. You know what I'm saying? And the next minute you're like, damn, well, being with them felt good and it was just so nice. And I wonder... I wonder where this could have went if it would have continued. So you you go back and forth when it comes to this person. Let me see. Ooh, but deep down inside, you really do want commitment. So this could be the controversy between you and this person. If they're not showing up for you, if they're not dependable, if they're not being consistent, it's because they're in a space where they are not willing to be committal. And when somebody is not ready to commit, then they will not show up consistency, consistently or invest. Spirit says this person is mostly going to hold back because they can be focused on a brand new beginning in their life. And this person just gives me explore, like they're, they're exploring. They could be exploring new possibilities. They can just be exploring new experiences. It doesn't, a new experience doesn't even have to be like a new person. It could be like, what if this person decided like, you know, I want to start traveling. I want to start doing different things for me. There's this restaurant I always wanted to try rather than wait on Stephanie to go with me. Why not? I just go by myself. Like this person, this seems like they're in a space where they're trying to explore themselves it looks like they could have got through went through like a divorce they could have been in like a 10-year marriage or something long and they finally got a divorce or an ending and they're trying to find themselves back again but um you guys you guys had really really good times together with the six with the six of cups it's like they could have they seen they have good memories of you you guys could have laughed a lot you guys could have did different things let me see. How do they see you right now? How does this person see Capricorn currently? How do they currently see you? Oh. They see you as wifey material, hubby material. So they see what you got, baby. Okay. They see that you have a huge heart. Okay. They see you in a good way. They see you as a wish and a new opportunity for love. That was a twist. <laughs> that was a twist. Um... Okay. Just be prepared, Capricorn, for this person to give you uncertainty because Spirit says that there's layers to this person. You got to go slow and take your time to understand this person or you may misinterpret them and think that they trying to play games with you when the truth is they just trying to find themselves. It shows a divine masculine. They can even be on the hunt for a new job. This is somebody who likes to journal or could be in the process of writing their own book. They got a lot of good things going on with them. You know, this person could be like stressed out by their responsibilities. And this is the reason why, you know, but they, they want to see you again. They're just going through their own stuff. And it's going to make you feel rejected. Like, damn, I feel overlooked. I feel like you're not paying me any attention. I feel like you're not investing in me. I thought that we were soulmates. <laughs> this is going to trigger you emotionally if you feel like... They're playing games and purposely avoiding you. Spirit just wants you to find peace. Find peace because what you're creating is different from what the actual reality is. And if you even see divine masculine, this is somebody who's standing strong in their energy. It's not even like a person who's trying to waste somebody's time or play. So, yeah. 
they see you in a high way, you just you just haven't you you just haven't received any clarity from this person. You haven't received any clarity. That's what's happening. Spirit just wants you to use this time to take care of yourself. Put yourself first. Every time that this person pulls away and it triggers you, just, just put yourself first. Just take care of yourself. Just clear your energy. And, and if you feel like this person's actions are hurting you, Spirit wants you to, to put your boundaries up. You know, put your boundaries when it comes to what your expectations are. But more importantly, because let me say this, ask them if they're looking for a commitment right now, because sometimes people place heavy expectations without even knowing, like, what, what do they even want? You know, but um, let's see what this person, <clears throat> what they like about you. Your beautiful face. They find your face to be beautiful and they have mixed feelings. Maybe sometimes this is probably why they give you inconsistent energy. At times they, they see you as wifey, hubby, somebody that they can settle down with, somebody that they can commit to. And then the next minute they, they want to be free. So this is a person who's caught between their independence and being in commitment. It could feel freeing and nice and peaceful to be alone and not have nobody to answer to and do what you want to do when you want to do what you want to do. And then <laughs> and at times it's like, damn, it, it could feel good to connect to you. You give them soulmate energy. They have great memories with you. It can feel so good to be connected to you. And then they, they dip off into their independence again, you know? So you may see this person as like, they don't know what they want. If somebody has mixed feelings, then they kind of don't. They also find you sensual. See, they love laying up and chilling with you. They may even question whether you're over your ex. And they like when you wear lingerie, if any of you are into that stuff. So when you get sexy for them, they love it. Um... Spirit says, be very, very clear on what you want so that it can come to you. So it just means too, like if you really want to settle down and have a relationship, do you, do you want to give somebody all the benefits of a relationship before they commit to you? Spirit wants you to be more intentional about your dating life and your spending. Yeah, you have a lot of happiness and rest that is going to come to you. You know, <clears throat> you have more money that's also coming to you. Oh, a woman holding a coin. Financially, you're going to be very powerful. Your finances is turning over for the for the better. Spirit just wants you to make sure you save your money. Hold on to your money. Don't overspend because you have a lot of money. Um, What does it show? Some of you could be going back into school. Or you could be starting like an internship. See, paying bills. You have a lot of bills that you're going to be paying. You have a lot of money to pay your bills. So you'll be fine. Financially, you're fine this month. Spirit just wants you to be careful of like overspending. And you could be getting evaluated for your performance at work. All right. Yeah, I see payday. It's, it's money. And unexpected income. You have more income coming in. This is good. Your money's looking good. Very, very financially stable. If this is something that you that you really were looking forward to, it's it's coming. Um, I want to know more about this person. If this is your story, if this is your person and you want to know, like, what's up? <laughs> what is the outcome, the potential outcome going to be with you and this person? I'm going to I'm going to do a full spread on them. On the extended, I'll also give you more information about your family, your friends, your children, and your ex on the extended. The extended will be in the description box. I'll meet you on the other side. Cappy cat.